Hi everyone, this is my part two video, or my driving video for the uh, 2007 GL450. In the first video we did a uh, brief demonstration showing you all the car's interior features, showing everything worked, everything this car does work, everything that we've tried, everything that we showed. I haven't even seen any more buttons that I haven't demonstrated, but it all works. Now we're gonna take the car for a test drive. So we'll get started, we'll put our belt on first. You can see even the fasten seatbelt light on the dashboard goes out when the belt is plugged in, which is what you want to see. That means the uh, restraint system is working properly. Okay. Car goes in reverse. Backup camera works. We'll put it in drive. And we'll take it for a fast four or five minute drive down the block. Turn over here. This is a nice open road. We can get some acceleration on it. There we go. Okay. Before, as I mentioned, the car runs and drives great. I haven't seen any issues with it. Starts right up. Drive straight down the road. Has nice suspension. If you go over bumps, you don't really feel any kind of noises or anything abnormal. It all appears to be as you would want it to be. This is actually a really bumpy road over here too. This is an old bumpy back road. I love to drive back here because you can really feel how good a car drives when you're driving on a bumpy road. I mean, of course, it's a smooth road. It's always going to sound good, but to give you an idea of how the car runs and steers and everything. And right now we're going about almost 60 miles an hour. If the road was not so windy, I'd probably go faster, but it's a bit of a windy road, as you can see. Which it runs and drives great. As I mentioned, the only issues the car has got is the tire pressure light is on. The owner deactivated the system and he removed the tire pressure sensors from the tires. You know, I mean, I don't blame him. It's a pretty stupid system to have. And then when the sensors go bad, it costs $100 a piece to replace. So, I mean, it's not more than that. So, that's the activated system. That's why it's on. Not a big deal. It's not going to affect any, the way the car runs or anything. It just, it's not going to tell if your tires are inflated. And uh, besides that, the only other thing I noticed is my mechanic told me the front brakes on the car probably got about five or 6,000 miles left on the front brakes. They're fine for now. They got a good amount of meat left, but about 5,000 miles from now, you're probably going to want to go put new front brake pads on. The back pads are fine. Um, everything else in the car that I've seen looks fine to me. I haven't noticed anything um, immediate that needs to be done. The car seems like a well sorted vehicle. I did change the oil in the car. I did change the transmission fluid in the car. We did flush the coolant out. I did change the coolant expansion bottle because I had a small little leak in it. Which is common for these cars too and uh, we did that. We service the rear lift gate in the car with new hydraulic fluid because that's another issue with these cars that you'll uh, sometimes tend to see. So we had that fixed. And um, now it's ready to go with no issues. Of course, I always welcome you to come down and see the car in person prior to bidding, if possible. I know now with the coronavirus uh, it makes it kind of hard for people to move around, but. Um, you know, I always like someone to come and see the vehicle, if possible. Like I said, I mean, she drives great. Right now the car is steering down this road. No hands on the wheel. It goes straight. As I mentioned too, it handles bumps well. Right 
Right now we're at five minutes. I'll probably do another minute on the video. Another minute or two and then we'll cut it off. I don't want it to get too long. But you can see the transmission on the car is shifting when it should. As I mentioned, there's no warning lights on, nothing's flashing. Runs great, drives great, steers great, brakes great. And we're coming to the stop sign. See, so yeah, stop the way it should. As I mentioned too, stopping the car, the brakes are fine. There's no shimming in the steering wheel, no squeals. As I mentioned, uh, the front patch will be changed about 5,000 miles from now, and you should be good to go with that. down this hill and then we will uh, conclude our video before it gets out of hand with it being too long. Sorry about the quality of the video. I know there's a little bit of sun glaring in. So I hope that won't ruin the integrity of my video. But I think even with that, you'll get the, get the point of how the car was running and everything. All right. Well, this will conclude my video. If you have any questions about the car, feel free to email me. Give me a call. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks and good luck bidding.